Hi, so this is the second video, so I'm trying to keep it short and sweet, really. So it says an application of it, the link to algebraic expressions. Huh? Right, okay. Right, so it says if f of x is 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus kx minus 6, x minus 3 is a factor, find the value for k. So part a, I know that f of 3 must be 0 if x minus 3 is a factor. Boing. Right, so my 4 lots of 3 cubed minus 12 lots of 3 squared plus k lots of 3 minus 6 must equal 0. If I cheat and use a completed pack a little bit, I've got 108 minus 108, so there you go. I've got 3k minus 6 is 0. So the 108s disappear. I've got 3k is 6, so I've got k is equal to 2. So I know that my function is actually 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus 2x minus 6. Now it says, show that x equals 3 is the only root. So that's the one I've got from there. Now I know that my cubic is x minus 3 times by a quadratic. So what I need to show for this, if x is 3 is the only root which comes from that one, I need to show that that one has no roots. If that's the case, b squared minus 4ac must be less than 0 on the quadratic. So this is for the quadratic that I get. So I need to split it up. So for part b, I need to find out what the quadratic is. So x minus 3, and then to get 4x cubed, it must be 4x squared plus bx. To get minus 6, it must be plus 2. There. So then if I look at the x squared term, so minus 12 on the x squared term would come from, it's going to be a 0. Yeah. Comes from, so minus 12x squared on the y comes from minus 12x squared there. Oops. Plus bx squared. So I'm saying that minus 12 is minus 12 plus b. So b is 0. So I'm saying that my 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus 2x minus 6 is x minus 3 times by 4x squared plus 2, because b is 0. Right, so if I was solving it, then my x minus 3, 4x squared plus 2, is equal to 0. So I know that x minus 3 is 0. So x is 3, that's what I've got. Well, the 4x squared plus 2 is 0. Now, I've got different ways of doing this. The question wants us to use the discriminant. I could have just rearranged it and have a negative square root. But what I want to do is use b squared minus 4ac just on this part of it. So b squared minus 4ac will be... 0 squared, because I've got 0 x's, minus 4 lots of 4, because 4 um, x squared, times by, oops, times by 2. So my b squared minus 4ac, that's a 2 there, is minus 32. So as b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, there's no roots on the quadratic. I hope that makes sense. So that must be the only root. There. So what I've done is I've split it and the 4x squared plus 2 doesn't have any roots. So it's only got one root in it, which is what I wanted to show. Now there's a question for you on the next page. And there's some consolidation as well. You can have a go at the question for you if you want. I'll do it in class. Better at home. That's what it looks like. I don't.
do that, do I? I do. I don't do wrong with anything. I just do comparing coefficients. Got the same answer. Anyway, I'm done. See you later. Bye bye.